Hello, and welcome to the second video in the Getting Started with Build-A-Bot Studio tutorial series. Uh, in the first tutorial, I showed you how to fill in a uh, create a bot that fills in a very simple form. In this tutorial, we will be creating a bot that fills in a more advanced form, uh, one with a captcha and other HTML elements that we haven't uh, discussed in the first tutorial. So uh, let's get started. So what we're going to want to do is under browser commands we're going to want to navigate to a web address so we'll drag over the go to web address command and then type in the web address that we're trying to navigate to so that's going to be go to botnow.com slash advanced form Press OK. If we run this, it will navigate to the web address. Um, something that I should note is that whenever you navigate to a web address, either through the go to web address command or if you had a link, like um, a link on the a website that, you, that caused you to travel to another web address, what you're going to want to do before you do anything is wait a few seconds just to ensure that the web address or the web page is uh, fully loaded before you try to fill in any field. So what we're going to do is under browser commands we're going to drag over a wait 10 seconds command and then press OK. So now we'll go to this web page, wait 10 seconds before it does anything else and then go on with the commands that uh, we want next. So as before we need to fill in the first name, username, last name, etc. So I showed you how to do that in the first tutorial, um, but I'll do it quickly here. We'll drag over create account details under manage account details and press OK. And then that's going to create random account details for us that are going to fill in the values for all of these variables. Let's open up the debugger just to see which details are going to be created. Um, let's run this script from the beginning so that you can see what's going on. Okay, went to the website. It's waiting 10 seconds. And then uh, in this area, we're going to see all of our account details. All right, so I created all the details. Um, the first name that it created is uh, Tyler. Second, the last name is Scott and so on. Okay. So now we have values in all of these variables that we can use to fill in this form. We don't need this anymore. So. Okay. Uh, lastly, we need to fill in the about me so we can create our own variable for that. Go to variable commands and create variable. I'm going to create a variable named about me, which is a string of text. The value is going to be a string of text as opposed to a number. And we're going to make it this value. designer from NYC. Press OK. Notice again uh, under user defined variables we have the newly created variable about me av available to use. So we have all of the information that we need to fill in this form. So let's get to it. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to first name and drag that over and we're going to fill it in with the first name variable. Then we're going to go to last name and do the same. We 
want the variable that corresponds with the form field. And then under username, I mean under email, we'll drag in our fake email address. Remember, uh, in the first tutorial, I, sh I told you that the email address that it creates is just a random email address. It actually doesn't create an email account you'll have to do that on your own or create a bot that does that on your own and that's very very simple to do with build a bot um, but it just gives you uh, fake account details that you can use to uh, fill in the forms okay so we have our email and then we'll drag in password and fill it in with the password ah notice how I accidentally dragged over email let's take that out And then, then we'll do about me, and we'll drag in the about me variable that we just created. All right. So if we were to run the script from the beginning, all of these fields would be filled in from first name to about me. But we have more fields to uh, handle. We have to enter an agenda, uh, click on do you agree to these terms, and then we have to fill in the caption. Now, we can to, to do the gender drop down list. What we'll do is we'll drag over the drop down box. And notice how all of this uh, gets selected or auto populated. Um, what we want to do is um, notice how under value it selects one. And the way that what Buildabot Studio does is it will randomly choose uh, a value here. And in this case, it randomly chose one. One corresponds to the index number of the drop down list. So uh, since the index starts with zero, male will correspond with zero, female will correspond with one, and other will correspond with two. Uh, Buildabot automatically uh, chose one, so when it's time to run the script, it's going to choose female. If you wanted to change that, you could. You could um, go to make it zero, and it will stay as male. Um, and in this case, um, the, n the first name, I believe, is a male name. So... Um, we could change it to zero, but it doesn't matter. We'll just, just to show you that the value will change, we'll leave it at one. Then we want to click on this, so we'll drag over the checkbox and then just press OK. That we don't have to enter into any value because it doesn't take any value except for a click. And then we need to handle the captcha. So we'll drag over the captcha and then press OK and then we'll drag in the place where we need to enter in the result of the caption over here so what's going to happen is if we run it from the beginning it's going to fill in all the fields then it's going to get to the place where the caption is it's going to find the caption and present us with a window in order to fill in the caption uh, if we have automatic caption solving turned on, which I do, then the capture will uh, be filled in automatically for us. Uh, if we don't, then we'll have to type in the capture in ourselves, which isn't a big deal. After that, the value will need to be inputted, input into this field. And the way that we get the value to into this box, remember we just drag this over here, we'll go to capture result and then drag in the variable pound capture pound into the result or into the value section and press OK. Now let's drag over submit and press OK because it doesn't take a value. So let's run the script from the very beginning and you'll notice, like I said, once because I have a uh, auto capture service. Um, the capture is going to be automatically filled out for me after 
for a few seconds. Um, but if you don't have that service, then you can uh, turn it on yourself. And the way that uh, then you can uh, type it in yourself. And the way that you would um, type in your details, your auto capture solving details, is to go to tools and the options, and it's going to save those account details, and uh, you can you know get your capture solved automatically. So let's just run the script from the beginning and watch how it works. It went to the web address. Now it's waiting 10 seconds. It's going to create random account details and then fill in our about me. Now, filled in all of the account details, the capture window popped up um, and we're just waiting now for the capture service to type it in for us. Then after that, it will uh, submit our field, our form. All right, and voila, the form submission is successfully completed. Okay, and it was that simple. Notice how it typed in the capture directly. Check the box, filled in our variables, and filled in uh, all of the details that we needed, and the form is completed. Um, if we wanted to make this a reusable script for ourselves, then all we would have to do is go to File, and then Save to File, and then save our script as, um, let's create a new folder. save it as my second bot. Okay. So now this is saved and if I wanted to uh, ever go to it again um, I can open it up and run it from the beginning. So uh, that was uh, the second tutorial. Once, Like I said it's a uh, very very easy to use build a bot studio to create uh, bots that fill in forms and uh, do a bunch of other other stuff um, now we could get more advanced and uh, throw in conditionals and loops and uh, have this create you know a thousand accounts in, in a few minutes that's very very easy to do uh, we can have it spin our uh, our variables using spin tax and then we can have it change proxies and change web browsers and ch you know confirm our email verifications and all sorts of things uh, but I just wanted to get you started with uh, checking out how to fill in forms um, like this that you're going to be encountering uh, very frequently and like I said it's a very very simple process so uh, thank you for watching the second video in this tutorial series and um, please make sure that you check out the third.